Hi all, welcome to our YouTube channel and we shall be presenting you with 10 daily current affair questions from Monday to Friday. So let's start with our first question for the day. Consider the following statements. Number 1. A person should have held a judicial office in the territory of India for 5 years or should have been an advocate of high court for 10 years to be appointed as a judge of high court. Second statement, a judge of high court holds office until he attains the age of 62 years. Which of the following statement is or are true? A. One only. B. Two only. C. Both one and two. D. Neither one nor two. So you can pause the video and uh, write the answer in the comment section below. So the correct answer is B. Two only. So the explanation goes like, a person should have held a judicial office in the territory of India for 10 years or should have been an advocate of high court for 10 years or be appointed as a judge of high court. Let's move on to the second question. Consider the following statement. The National Electronic Transfer is an electronic funds transfer system maintained by the Reserve Bank of India. Second statement, the fund transfer through the NEFT system do not occur in the real-time base. Which of the following statements given above are correct? A. One only. B. Two only. C. Both one and two. D. Neither one nor two. You can pause the video. So the correct answer here is C. Both one and two. And fun fact. NEFT was started in the year 2005. Let's move on to the third question. The port of Murmansk is located on the Pacific Ocean, Arctic Ocean, Atlantic Ocean or Mediterranean Sea. So, the correct answer is B. Arctic Ocean. Let's move on. To the fourth question. Consider the following statement. Number one, this investment in the public sector units in India is a process of public asset sales by President of India on behalf of the Government of India. Second statement, Department of Investment and Public Asset Management looks into the matter of privatization of public sector units. Which of the following statement given above is or are correct? A. One only. B. Two only, C, both one and two, D, neither one nor two. So, the correct answer is B, both one and two. So, the fifth question. The Congress passed the complete independence of Purna Swaraj Resolution at Lahore, which is modern day Pakistan, on the banks of the river A. Chenab, B. Ravi, C. Jhelum, D. Bias. So, the correct answer is B. Ravi. And the Purna Swaraj resolution was passed on 19 December 1929 by Jawaharlal Nehru. Let's move on to the sixth question. Which of the following statement is or are correct about the digital villages? Number one, it was conceptualized by the Common Service Center, SPV, under the Ministry of Electronics and IT. Second statement, it is a village where citizens can avail various e-services of the central and state government as well as of private players. C. Such villages are also equipped with LED bulb assembly unit, sanitary napkin unit and rural Wi-Fi infrastructure. Select the correct answer using the codes given below. A. 1 only. B. 1 and 2. C. 2 and 3. D. 1, 2 and 3. So the correct answer here is D. 1, 2 and 3. Moving on.
Consider the following statements. Number one, typhoon is a mature tropical cyclone. Second, the term typhoon is used in the context of northwestern Pacific. Which of the following statement given above is or are correct? A. One only. B. Two only. C. Both one and two. D. Neither one nor two. You can pause the video and mention your answers in the comment section below. So the correct answer here is C. Both one and two. Now let's talk about the concept of mature tropical cyclone. What exactly it is? So basically, it is a very rapidly rotating storm system which is characterized by low pressure center, a closed low level atmospheric circulation, strong winds, and a spiral arrangement of thunderstorm that produces heavy rain. So, let's move on to the next question. Saptamatrika inscription, which is the earliest Sanskrit inscription to have been discovered as on date, was discovered in A. Andhra Pradesh, B. Kerala, C. Bihar, D. Uttarakhand. So, the correct answer is A. Andhra Pradesh. Now, what exactly is Saptamatrika? Basically, it is a group of seven female deities. And the inscription is in Sanskrit and Brahmi character, which is issued by the Satvana king Vijaya in 207 AD. Moving on. Which of the following statement is or are correct about the Indo Lanka Accord of 1987? Number one, it was signed in Colombo. Number two, it was expected to resolve the Sri Lankan civil war and amended the Sri Lankan constitution. Select the co correct answer using the codes given below. A. 1 only. B. 2 only. C. Both 1 and 2. D. Neither 1 nor 2. Give yourself a moment and please think over it. So, the correct answer is C. Both 1 and 2. Moving on to the last question of the day. The main theme of Raisena Dialogue 2020 is A. Climate change B. Protecting global oceans from pollution C. Terrorism in Asia and D. Navigating the Alpha Century Now before we move on to the answer, one must understand what exactly is Raisena Dialogue. So basically it is a multilateral conference which is held annually at New Delhi. And since its inception in 2016, the conference has emerged as India's flagship conference on geopolitics and geoeconomics. So moving on to marking the answer. The correct answer here is D. Navigating the Alpha Century. So that will be all for the day. For more information on our various courses, please visit our website www.asha.com and for more daily videos, please like, share and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thank you.